everyone, when, when you're not talking, you just need to make sure that you mute yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. Guys, I gotta jump on another call. I made a super chill playlist that is like the perfect working from home background music. If you guys want, I'll drop it in the Slack. So I guess we're finally figuring out that all those meetings could have been emails, huh? What are we doing to troubleshoot these issues? Do you guys wanna see my cat, Whiskers? Hang on, she's under the table. Whiskers, I've missed you all so much. I just, oh, just want to tell me about your weekend. Tell me about your weekend. Do you guys want to see something? Business on the top. Pajama party on the bottom, baby. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Now, more than ever, people are working from home. And as someone who's worked full time from home for the last year, I can tell you that it's a weird mix of awesome and challenging. So if you're struggling with that transition to working from home, in this video, I'm gonna share with you all nine Enneagram types and how they can best work from home. If you don't know who I am, hello, I'm Abby Howe, and I am here to help you discover you. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to this channel for new videos every single week, and uh, let's get on with the video. Enneagram ones are really good at seeing what is and isn't working and how to make it better. Everyone, when you're not talking, you just need to make sure that you mute yourself. Otherwise, we can hear everything that little Timmy's saying and everything that your husband is apparently nailing into the wall and your cat meowing for dinner. We can hear it all. So if you just want to mute yourself, um, then when you want to talk, just press the space bar to unmute and then you let it go when you want to go back to muting, okay? All right, awesome. Now, where were we? They thrive in routine and pay attention to the details. When they work from home, they can be really gifted at creating an orderly structure for their day. However, it's very important for Enneagram Ones to pay attention to their perfectionistic tendencies right now. It's okay to just get something done. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you should be learning how to delegate delegate during this time and not just work stuff, but home stuff too. Delegate chores because you're in the house. So you're going to be like seeing everything that needs to be done, every home project that you haven't done. So learn how to delegate. It's okay to relax. Enneagram twos build community in the workplace. They're so good at connection and interpersonal relationships. So working from home can be really difficult for a two who thrives off of those interpersonal connections. My suggestion for twos is to let yourself experience community virtually. Schedule a water cooler Zoom call with your coworkers so that you guys can just all check in and do the chit chat that you would normally have around the office. How cool is it that I can make casserole and soup while also on this call? <laughs> you know? Well, I have so much sourdough, my family doesn't know what to do with themselves, so I can drop some off to your house if you want. And then take the extra time you have at home that would be used for commuting to do little things in your home that make you happy. So for example, I just recently invested in some plants because I was feeling like I needed something to care for and I have been really enjoying that. I'm creating a little indoor jungle here and it's really fun, so I highly recommend doing that. Enneagram threes will probably be seesawing between working their butts off and collapsing into nine numbness because they're so stressed out and they're not taking care of their emotions. Not that I know anything about that or anything. It's totally happened to me. Working from home can be really tough for a three because they don't have any accountability. So they can work themselves to the bone and not take care of themselves at all and get the task done and then be praised for that task and then they only receive that recognition as self-worth. So their accomplishment becomes their self-worth and then they keep working themselves to the bone and it just becomes this vicious cycle. The great thing about working from home is now I have more time for my hobby. I'm starting a giant macrame store on Etsy. You should buy my macrame. It's really good. It's top quality, top tier, and very expensive. Buy my macrame. Buy it. Look at that macrame. So macrame -ed. My suggestion for threes is to be diligent with your no phone zone. I know that sounds kind of dorky, but I really mean it. Put the phone away, put the computer away, go outside, pray or meditate or whatever feels good to you, but take time just to be with your thoughts, feel your feelings, don't think about work when you're out there, don't make to-do lists in your head, really try to connect with the present. Enneagram fours thrive when they have a higher purpose. An ordinary routine where their gifts are not highlighted or used at all is really unhealthy for a four. Uh, I overslept. My call starts in three minutes. <sighs> 
Hi, this is Abby. If your work is not creative or fulfilling, you have to now more than ever have a creative output. So that means that everything you've been putting off creative needs to happen now. And I don't want that to come off as like a pressure thing of like, I have to do this big, huge project. I don't mean that. I mean, take five minutes in the morning to do your morning pages. I mean, every single day, you need to be nourishing that kid inside of yourself who just love to create. You need to be doing that for your soul. Enneagram fives may be living for this work from home scenario. And I mean, they're probably really happy they don't have to do in-person meetings anymore. And they can finally, finally, live behind their computer screens. So I guess we're finally figuring out that all those meetings could have been emails, huh? I've been telling y'all for years that we do not need that much social interaction. But fives need to remember that what they really need in their lives is predictability. If fives know what their responsibilities are for the work week, then they will thrive within those expectations. So make sure that you fives are ultra clear on your to-do list for the week so that you know exactly how much energy you need to be conserving for each workday. Enneagram sixes are smart troubleshooters and this especially applies to working from home. They will spot problems and solve them before they even pop up. I took the liberty of troubleshooting future computer issues. I organized it all in a Google Doc. I just sent it out in an email about an hour ago. So just take a look at that. They take their time to think through decisions and are a great asset to have on a team. Sixes also tend to be the most anxious of the Enneagram numbers. So they're gonna be second guessing themselves, asking tons of questions and having a lot of concerns with their team. When you're working from home, I suggest that sixes break down your daily and weekly to-dos into very small tasks that seem manageable. So for example, example, if I was going to write in my planner, make a YouTube video, that wouldn't work for a six. Instead, you're going to write brainstorm ideas, research keywords, write a script, set up your lights. You write down every single step that it takes to make that task happen. And that is going to make a six's work from home life so much happier. Enneagram sevens will be bringing their optimism and energy into a work from home environment. Guys, Let's do the Brady Bunch thing, okay? So Carl, you're gonna look up and June, you're gonna look down. And then if, if Emily can look to the left and I'll look to the right and we'll just all point at each other. I'll take a screenshot and then we can post it on Facebook. This is the type of person you want when things are kind of uncertain and you wanna change things last minute in your business. However, sevens will struggle with the monotony of doing the same thing every day in the same place. I'm going crazy in here. They might slowly disintegrate into a very unhappy version of themselves if they stay inside too long. So I recommend that sevens get outside every day. Get out into nature, take a walk, look at plants, wave at people from across the street. There's just something so healing about being in nature, getting fresh air, and I think that is extremely important for Enneagram 7s. Enneagram 8s need to be active and on the go, which can be hard when they're working remotely. They are also extremely hard workers, so they're gonna be doing their very best under any circumstance. Hi guys, oh my God, I've missed you all so much. I just, oh, just want to tell me about your weekend. Tell me about your weekend. How are, how's things going? Ellen. Oh, it's so good to see your faces. It's very important for eights to be on the same page as everyone else on the team as to what is expected of them. I suggest taking a work call while on a walk. And I think that this can help with the need to be go, 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 go all the time. Clear lines of communication at work can also help an eight feel more comfortable in a work from home situation. And finally, Enneagram nines. They take their energy and sense of identity from working with a group. So working from home can actually Actually be really difficult for them. Nines need healthy rituals to feel good about their daily routine. Well, on my call with the client this morning, they seemed all ready to go for the online launch, but I really think if we need to troubleshoot anything, we're in a good position to do so. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I can hop on a Zoom call. Just give me uh, like uh, two minutes, hop on a Zoom call. For nines, I suggest doing a clear separation of work time and home time. Make your work from home hours and stick to them. No working until 10 p.m. just because your team needs you. Guess who else needs you? You. You need you. So go drop the computer and go get a glass of wine and go read a book on the couch and just have you time. Let me know if those tips were helpful for you and if you have better ones, help a girl out.
put them down in the comments so that I can read them and we can all benefit. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I put out new videos every single week. And as always, you know, have a lovely, lovely day.